Perry Park provided the setting for the opening match of the PlayStation 4 National Premier League's Queensland 2015 season. Strikers hosting Redlands United in a traditional opening round clash. The two teams promised attacking football in the build-up and early on Jonty Richter picked out Trent Clulo with this beautiful pass with only Brendan White's quick reflexes denying the new strikers recruit. Down the other end it was one of Redlands United's new recruits Brazilian Igor Say Jose shooting from distance, requiring Michael Turnbull to tip over the bar. The danger wasn't alleviated though, as strikers conceded a penalty from the ensuing corner. Redlands player coach Graham Fife stepped up to take the penalty, but couldn't get past Turnbull, who proved himself the hero yet again. The pressure continued from Redlands, Say Jose with a neat turn before poking his shot just wide. Down the other end, it was Colombian Jason McQuasse doing the twisting and turning, only to earn the ire of the referee, booked for simulation. McQuasse made amends shortly after, though, this neat turn and shot, opening the scoring, strikers up 1 0. Ryan Cokel's midfield ball released Mitch Bird for Redlands before the break, doing well to bump off Michael Turnbull before the recovering Greg Hensley blocked the shot. However, a second bite of the cherry, Turnbull booked for the initial contact and a penalty given. Fife stepped up again for the penalty kick and he made amends, Turnbull guessing right but unable to stop the shot. 1-1 at half time. Chances proved few and far between in the early part of the second half before Richter combined with McQuasse to deliver this shot, brilliantly saved by White. In fact, it looked like the match would peter out However, some late drama as Clulo found Colson out wide, he delivered the ball into Hensley and the strikers took a 2-1 lead in the final minute of regulation time. There proved to be one more twist in the tail though. This injury time free kick was curled in by Adam Chandler, Say Jose did the rest with the header and Redlands escaped with a share of the points. 2-2 the final score. McQuasse and Hensley with the goals for strikers, the replies coming from Fife and Say Jose for Redlands. Chris Marr, the strikers defender, getting the nod as the man of the match. In Ipswich, there were fireworks promised as Western Pride met Southwest Queensland Thunder in a battle to see who was the best in the West. Thunder finished 2014 without a win, but they got their 2015 season off to a cracking start. Chris Hewson with a fantastic finish to put Thunder into the lead inside five minutes. Pride were creating chances though. This well worked set piece going just wide at the near post. There's more than one way to score from a set piece though. Joe Duckworth's corner floating in on the breeze, catching out Michael Pike in the Thunder goal, leveling scores 1-1. Five minutes later and more success from a set piece. Lincoln Rule floating in this free kick a goal mouth scramble ensued, Harrison Sawyer with the touch, 2-1 Western Pride. Things just weren't going Thunder's way. This back pass putting Pike under pressure, the ball falling to Chris Scott, a beautiful lob finish and Pride with a 3-1 lead at the break. Thunder coach Chris Wilkes rallied the troops at half time and soon the visitors were back within one. Mitchell Tansky with the finish after this quick free kick caught out the Pride defence. With the pressure starting to mount, Pride's touch from the set pieces started to disappear. However, there's always another route to goal. Harrison Sawyer bombing down the left-hand side for Pride in the final 10 minutes. His cutback turned in by a Thunder defender for a 4-2 lead. Pete Drager went in search of a fifth for Pride, his heavy touch allowing Pike time to smother. The host continued to push though through a lengthy period of time added on. Gabriel Harwash benefiting from a back heel before delivering this neat sliding finish to round out the scoring. 5-2 the final score. Hewson and Tansky chipping in for Thunder, but not enough to overcome goals from Duckworth, Sawyer, Scott and Harwash who also is acknowledged as the player of the match. Cairns football fans were treated to the tropical derby on Saturday night as Northern Fury ventured to Barlow Park to face rivals FNQ Heat. Fury saw the better of the early chances, 
Caleb Hobson picking out Jake Perry's run with this throw. The finish just over the bar. Fury were up for the contest. Their heavy pressure on the Heat defenders leading to this turnover. The ball with Sam Herlihy. He teed up Joe Thornton, but the finish left something to be desired. Heat weren't without their chances. Chris O'Hare creating this out of nothing. Bombing down the left, his ball across the face was parried by Joe Simons and cleared just in time. Things were firing up. Tamas Maffey stumpy, clumsy in this challenge to win Heat possession, but Jacob Crowley lucky to only see yellow for this tackle. The target continued to prove elusive for both teams as they went into the break still locked at nil all. There were chances at both ends at the start of the second half, but still the deadlock could not be broken. But then came the game changer. O'Hare playing the ball into Nkwani in the box. His finish relying on placement rather than power. Heat up 1-0 and didn't he enjoy it. He'd almost doubled their advantage soon after. This goal mouth scramble denied on the line before somehow falling into the arms of Simons. But then Heat proved their own worst enemy. This push in the back from a corner, giving away a penalty and offering Fury a sniff of a comeback. Thornton stepped up, slotting his penalty low into the left. His first ever PlayStation 4 National Premier League's goal and the score now 1-1. Before long, Fury had the lead. A deflection falling kindly for Michael Eisenhart, who slotted home for a 2-1 advantage. The pocket rocket soon had his second, and Fury their third. Hobson's ball picking out Eisenhart's run, the composed finish, and the team from Townsville were two ahead. Desperate for a derby comeback, things weren't going Heat's way. The situation got worse for Heat when Cameron Morrison was shown a red card, given his marching orders for an off-the-ball incident. Heat found consolation in injury time, though, when Jamie Carroll got sandwiched between two defenders to earn a penalty. Alex Smith slotted home the kick for his first goal of the season, but in the end it was too little too late. Northern Fury prevailing 3-2 to win their first ever Tropical Derby. Goals to Thornton and a double to Eisenhut and Kawani and Smith for the Heat. Eisenhut getting the nod as the man of the match. The first live stream match of the PlayStation 4 National Premier League's Queensland season saw Brisbane City travel up the Bruce Highway to face Sunshine Coast FC. City were bossing the early possession, but the chances just weren't forthcoming. Curran Ferns trying his harm from distance, but the shot well off target. No such problems finding the target for the hosts though. Brady Cronk making a run to the near post from this corner, a glancing header, and Fire were ahead 1-0. Another corner and another chance for Fire. Cronk unable to turn the ball in after getting a kind bounce from Ray Schultz's deflected shot. More frustration for City as Will Jordan's run down the left set up an opportunity for Nathan Bird, but he proved unable to make the most of the opportunity. Fire continued to create the better chances though, Kane Frew kicking himself for missing this header from Reese Kelly's cross. Fire skipper Kelly showed he has more than delivery in his arsenal though. The first shot was saved but he made no mistake with the second attempt. Fire up 2-0 before the half. More joy for the host before the halftime whistle though. City goalkeeper Matt Lugo twice mistiming his advances. Brady Cronk on hand to take advantage with a sharp finish on the angle. 3-0 at the break. After the restart, City needed a spark. Antonio Murray tried to provide it, but his shot was just wide. Down the other end and Fire's mastery of the corner kick continued. City's defenders caught out as a parade of Fire players were at the back post. Ray Schultz getting the tap in, 4-0 to Fire. Fire were having a field day. Substitute Jacob Fullick signalling his intentions shortly after coming on with this effort. The 17-year-old's energy was irrefutable though, twisting and turning to earn this penalty. Fullick stayed composed as he slotted home the spot kick, his first ever PlayStation 4 National Premier League's goal. The final whistle couldn't come soon enough for City, but there was still time for one more goal. 
Lewis Shepard down the left, his ball across the face tapped in by Fullock, a double for the youngster, 6-0 for fire and three points well in the bag. An impressive opening day result, goals to Cronk, Schultz, Kelly and Fullock, while City left wondering just what went wrong. Grant to Chassel, the man of the match. Fans were in for a treat at Walter Park when two of the competition's most attacking teams met, Moreton Bay United hosting Olympic FC. And the start didn't disappoint. The hosting Jets got away to a flyer. Frenchman Charles Mendy making space down the left. His cross met by Matthew Zappone's header. A sharp save from Olympic shot stopper Matt Acton, but Jordan Farina on hand to give Jets the early lead. A minute later and the Jets were really soaring. Royce Brownlee's header back off the post, but Zappone on the follow through. Moreton Bay 2-0 up inside 10 minutes. A cracking start. Down the other end and things weren't quite going Olympics way. Skipper Danny Byrne uncharacteristically failing to find the target with this golden opportunity. But Olympic are always a chance at a goal, especially with striker Tim Smits. Matt Mundy picked out his run to the forward post, a glancing header and Olympic were right back in it at 2-1. There was no quick start in the second half for the Jets, although Charles Mendy almost turned the ball into his own net from this Olympic free kick. With chances drying up, Olympic's Reese Meredith tried to force the issue from distance, his shot lacking sting. But with the bulk of possession with the visitors, Olympic started to resemble their free-flowing selves, this shot hitting the side netting. The Jets proved resilient though, and midway through the second half, restored their two-goal advantage. Charles Mendy acting as the target man, before slipping through Royce Brownlee. The Olympic defenders looking for the offside flag, but it wasn't forthcoming, and Brownlee left with an easy finish. His 51st goal in PlayStation 4, NPL Queensland. The host should have put the game to bed shortly after, however the shot was directed straight at Acton in the Olympic goal. Young Olympic striker Mustafa Jafari proved more opportunistic. This ball falling kindly, but the shot top shelf. Left footed finish, top corner, 3-2 and Olympic sniffing a comeback. But in the end there just wasn't enough time for the visitors. The Jets holding on, 3-2 winners, goals to Farina, Zapone and Brownlee for the hosts. Smiths and Jafari chiming in for the visitors. Consolation for Olympic Scott Bow, who was named the man of the match. That win lifts Jets into the top four after the opening round along with pride and fury. Sunshine Coast FC in top spot with a superior goal difference. Cronk and Fullock also leading the early golden boot race with Royce Brownlee sneaking into third on alphabetical order. A reminder that you can watch live PlayStation 4 National Premier League's Queensland action this Saturday night as opening round winners Fury and Pride meet in Ipswich. Catch all the action at the official website www.mplqld.com.au and be sure to follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. This has been a production by Football Queensland for the PlayStation 4 National Premier Leagues.